from the JES First Warning Weather Center. Here's meteorologist April Loveland. Good morning, everyone. Well, if you have stepped outside, you'll notice it is a little on the windy side. And if you haven't stepped outside, you probably hear the winds howling and it's just going to get worse as the day goes on and especially as the weekend goes on. We're tracking some persistent northeasterly winds from 20 to 30 plus miles per hour. Also a little on the soggy side for some of us. We're looking at the heaviest rain expected along the OBX, but that continues to change a little bit, continues to shift a little bit offshore. So really not looking at a huge rain event with this. It's mainly going to be wind and that flooding. So we have that flood threat, tidal flooding and ocean overwash. That's not from rain, but that is from our strong winds. So here's that system there. It is a coastal low. It's going to be making its way up the coast. That's going to be spreading a little bit of rain in our direction. Also going to be impacting us with the winds and the tidal flooding and the coastal flooding out there right now though as we take a live look at first warning radar we're just dealing with a lot of cloud cover and we're going to be dealing with the clouds throughout the day today you'll notice though as we head through the day we're not tracking a whole lot of rain with this specific model here so our models have kind of been back and forth and the latest has really pushed a lot of the heaviest rain offshore which is good news but as we head through the overnight you will notice we'll see that rain kind of moving into the area we could still see a few heavy downpours there. The biggest threat, though, is going to be those winds. We'll continue with some showers heading into the, at least the first half of the day on Sunday. But as we switch over to our winds here, we'll see those anywhere from about 15 to 25 miles per hour today. We can see gusts 30 to 35 miles per hour. We'll say, be dealing with the same story overnight and through the day on Sunday, especially as we head into Sunday. You'll notice those sustained winds 34 miles per hour there for the Outer Banks, 21 for Southside. 23 for the Albemarle. That means we are going to be dealing with some even bigger gusts as we head through the day. So those persistent winds really pushing up along the shore and that's going to cause some issues. We have that wind advisory in effect that's going to go into effect today at 2. That's going to last through 11 p.m. on Sunday and you'll notice most of our coastal locations under that wind advisory. Here's our tidal forecast. So if you do live in an area that is prone to tidal flooding, keep this in mind. 11 a.m. today, we'll see some minor tidal flooding. 11 p.m. today, we'll see some minor tidal flooding. We'll continue with tidal, uh, minor tidal flooding at times of high tide from now through Monday. So we will definitely see some water on the roadway. So if you do have a route that you take that is usually flooded by tidal flood and keep that in mind, we're going to be dealing with that the next couple of days. We also have a coastal flood warning. So this is going to be one of our main concerns, especially along the outer banks with some ocean overwash there. So something we'll be keeping a close eye on today and tomorrow. Showers developing today, rain and wind tomorrow, 59 for both days. Sunny and windy on Monday, plenty of sunshine heading into your Tuesday. Partly cloudy by Wednesday, Veterans Day looking just fine, 69, and then some scattered showers on Friday, 73. So, Aaron, even though we're not looking at a huge rainmaker with this, it is definitely going to be windy, and we know the wind can really do a lot of damage around here.